Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to be doing a jigsaw puzzle review. I got three review copies from Inchezo Puzzles, and I'm going to talk about my experiences with them. I've completed two of the puzzles, and I'm partway through the third, and I feel like I'm at a point where I'm ready to make a review. So Inchezo is like an umbrella brand, and they have a bunch of different imprints, or at least I think they will when they have more puzzles available. They're clearly a new publisher. So they have Black Cat puzzles, which are going to be military scenes. They have Oodles puzzles, which are going to be collections of objects. And then they also have gaming puzzles and Americana puzzles. So if any of those things are for you, they may be a company to watch. The first puzzle of theirs that I completed was definitely my favorite. I can already tell. And that one's gonna be the Battle of Cowpens. So this is from their Black Cat imprint. And it is an illustration of a Revolutionary War battle. I personally really like this one. I thought it was tough, but enjoyable. The sky and the grass are pretty hard to do. And actually even the uniforms, because everybody's wearing similar clothing, presented a bit of a challenge. But I think that that is a good thing. One thing I really like about this particular brand of puzzles actually, is that if you look at the side of the box, they tell you about the appropriate age range for the puzzle, but I liked that they rated the difficulty. So a 6 out of 10, I would say that's about right. It was challenging, but it was very doable. And I had a really good time with it. The quality of the pieces was good. The cardboard is thick and chunky. The fits snap into place really nicely. And it was really clear when you had put a piece in the right place, which I really appreciated. The surface is not quite glossy, but it's also not matte either. There's a little bit of shine on it, but I didn't have any problems looking at the image on the pieces underneath my bright lamp just in my living room. Overall, the quality of the cow pins puzzle was really, really good. I actually did not think that the other puzzle of theirs that I've completed, the decorative eggs puzzle, was quite as good. The cardboard was again very thick, but it was like a little bit spongier feeling than the cow pins puzzle. And although most of the pieces looked great, there were situations where, especially as puzzles sometimes have little thin join pieces hanging off, the image was starting to detach from the top of the cardboard. It wasn't anything that you notice in the complete puzzle, and it only happened on a couple of pieces. So, I mean, this happens with puzzles. It's not the end of the world, but I would be remiss if I didn't point it out. I also did not like the decorative eggs puzzle as much for artistic reasons. So it says that it's inspired by an 1888 art print book from a French artist and costume designer named Racine. And I actually went and looked it up because I looked at the image itself and it's weirdly digital. Like you can see these very fake looking black shadows. The eggs are not naturally placed. It's clearly a digital image. And I was wondering if I was going to find eggs when I looked at the source material and I did not. It was actually just like flat prints. And so someone has selected these prints and turned them into decorative eggs, which isn't a terrible idea, but I didn't like the overly digital fake look of the picture at the end. I did enjoy putting the puzzle together because looking for all those small patterns was super satisfying and relaxing. So doing the puzzle was pretty cool. Looking at the puzzle afterward, eh. And because of the artistic choices that went into the puzzle, it's not just like, oh, I took this guy's picture of eggs and made it a puzzle. There was one selection that I did not like, and I know that it's not 100% rational, but there is a small pattern with non-Nazi swastikas on it. And I know that that was a pattern that was just a normal pattern in earlier times, but I still didn't like it on my puzzle. It made me feel like a little weird putting it together. And... It wasn't necessary to have it in there. So it's not necessarily an artistic choice that I would have made. But that said, putting together the puzzle was fun and I would do it again. I would do another puzzle like that. And the third puzzle, the one that I'm working on, I think I'm really gonna like. It's very difficult. It's another one that's rated six out of 10 and it is Country Store at Night. So it's got this kind of retro country gas station image on it. And I'm currently in the process of putting it together, but the sky and the ground are gonna take me forever because it's nighttime. There's a lot of blues and grays and really subtle color gradations, and it's just gonna take time to put the puzzle together. 
I personally like that. I enjoy the challenge of putting together puzzles that require you to pay attention to tiny details. And I'll probably end up doing as much as I can and then sorting the pieces by shape and, you know, working through. Just like I did for the Sky on the Cowpens puzzle. So if you're looking for a new puzzle brand that you haven't tried before and you want some fresh images, I think Imchezo is going to be good. Right now there aren't a whole lot of selections on their website. I hope that they do more military scenes because most of the military puzzles that I've seen are like ship battles. And it was really nice to put together a Revolutionary War picture. I like a whole range of puzzles, but it's actually really nice to have a battle scene. And if Imchezo is going to make some more of those, then I'm super interested. And overall, the quality of their puzzles is completely decent. I had no serious problems. And the Cowpens one was very nice indeed. So if any of these puzzles look like ones you'd like to do, I have put a link in the show notes below. No matter what kind of puzzles you like, I hope you do a jigsaw puzzle soon because they are very, very relaxing and these are very stressful times. And if you like this video and want to see more relaxing puzzle videos, please like and subscribe. Happy puzzling!